Welcome back to Mind of Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I'll tell you what, the cold weather has really come whipping through New England lately. We're in the 30s right now, and we're only gonna get colder. And what does that mean when it starts getting real cold? Comfort food. You know what I'm thinking about for comfort food? Some beef stew, that's right, beef stew. I'm gonna throw it down on the Yoda YS 640S. A little bit of Dutch oven cooking, real tasty, real hot warming. You ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's get this cook going. I got two and a half pounds of stew beef here. I'm gonna hit it up with some of my Santa Maria style rub that I make. I'll leave the ingredients to this down below in the description. Just gonna give it a nice dusting here. This stuff right here is rocking on some tri-tip steak. You gotta try this one. Let's give it a little mix here. Try to get that covered up nicely. Give it a little whack. Come with our clean hand here. We're gonna come back with a little bit of flour. We're gonna get a couple tablespoons of flour on this and mixed in. Get that coated nicely. Go a little bit more there. Maybe three or four tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna get that all worked in. We're gonna bring it right back. All right, we got the Yoda running with the flame pot down the bottom wide open. I got the Dutch enamel inside there with some beef tallow, probably about four tablespoons or so. You can use whatever kind of oil that you want. Just gonna get some of these going inside here. We don't wanna crowd the group here. Just wanna get it nice and browned. I'm gonna brown them on all four sides here. Just mix them around, let them run for a little while. I'll let these go. I'll get the other batch running, and then we'll bring you back. All right, we got our last bit of beef there cooked up. Just gonna get into our little pan here. Get that off to the side here. Bring it a little closer. You see all that brown goodness right there? We're gonna hit that up right now with a couple of uh, tablespoons of butter. We'll get three in there. Give that a little stir around here. Get it melted up a little bit. Now to this I'm gonna add couple carrots that I circled up there and one stalk of celery. I got one shallot and one small onion. Just gonna give that a mix. I'm gonna let this go probably for about five to seven minutes or so. Get those onions working a little bit and I'll bring it back. All right, we've been going for five minutes. I've been stirring these up here and there. Looking pretty good. Get a little translucent on those onions there. Now I'm gonna come back with about four cloves of garlic that I chopped up. Get that in there. Give it a nice little stir. It's already smelling awesome. All right, that garlic's been going there for about a minute or so. Give it a nice little stir. We're gonna come back with some nice wine. I'm going with a little Portuguese wine here. Wanna get some deglazing going. Probably about a cup and a half maybe or so. Around there somewhere. Just gonna get that bottom working, get all those bits of goodness up, lifted. I'm gonna let this go for a few minutes. All right, we've been going for a couple minutes or so here. Smelling awesome. Let's pull that forward there. Now I want to come back with about a tablespoon or so of tomato paste. Looking good. 
coming back with a little bit of better than beef bouillon. If you don't have that, it's crushed up cube. Or two, throw it in there. Add it all mixed in. Also coming back with a little bit of spicy mustard here. About a tablespoon. And add an extra little layer of flavor, a little pop in it for you. Get this all stirred around here. Now we'll come back with our uh, beef. And sitting on the side there, it's like 30 something degrees here. A little cold, so I kept it inside the smoker here. Get that in. I got about roughly a pound and a half, two pounds of white potatoes. Get those in there. Get that a little mix going. I don't know if I said it before, I'm pretty sure I did. This is smelling awesome already. Yeah! And now what we're gonna wanna do here is get some beef stock. I'm gonna go about three or four cups or so. This is four cups here. Just wanna get this covered. That's four cups right there. Coming back with uh, about four sprigs of thyme and a sprig of rosemary in, a couple of bay leaves in. Get this moved around a little bit. You can add more carrots if you want to. I'm not really a fan of tons of carrots in it. This can get done right inside of a crock pot also. Just sear everything off at the beginning like we did. Fire everything else into, into the crock pot. I'd run it on low probably for about six to eight hours roughly, or high four to five. It's gonna bring this up to a simmer. And I'm gonna toss the lid on it for about a half hour and I'll bring it back. All right, it's been about 35 minutes or so. I did close the afterburner down there. I got the Yoda running at 325 right now. See, we're getting a nice simmer there. It's gonna give this a stir. It's smelling awesome, man. Potatoes are still hard. I'm gonna probably let this go for another half hour or so. I'm gonna leave the lid off of this here and let it thicken up some. Just gonna push that back there, right about there. I'll get this shut down. We'll bring it back in about a half hour or so. All right, we're back. We're about an hour and a half or so total cooking time. Let's have a little peek here. See how it's thickened up here, nice. Oh man, it's smelling awesome. Get a little taste here. Oh, that beef is tender. It's pretty much done, that tastes awesome. If you need right now, you'd be adding up a little bit of salt if you needed, a little bit of pepper or a little bit more of that, uh, my Santa Maria rub. Right now I'm gonna add in one cup of frozen peas. And just for a little extra, what is that in there? I'm going with probably about a tablespoon or so, a maple syrup. It's gonna bring all that savoriness right there. 
It's gonna make it pop. Let me give that a little mix. I'm gonna let this go probably for about another 10 minutes or so. We'll bring it back when we're playing up. All right, we're back and we are plated up. Let's get you a little close up here. Oh man, look at that, that smells, it smells awesome. Let's get a little taste test rolling here for you. Let's get some meat and a potato there. Oh man. Comfort food 101. Real simple one to cook. You can do this on your stove top, you can do it in a crock pot, you can do it in an instant pot. Man, you gotta give this one a shot, definitely. That is hitting on all cylinders right there. That beef right there is so tender, those potatoes are perfectly done. Thanks for watching, stay safe.